Welcome to Trickling Streams. In our previous video, we spoke about self-awareness as a powerful tool for personal development. I would recommend watching this video alongside today's. To start us off, I would like to ask a question. Are leaders born or are they made? As you think about that, Today we'll be talking about mindset. We will draw most of our discussion from the work of a Stanford psychologist, Carol Dweck, who authored a book, Mindset, the Psychology of Success. So what is a mindset? A mindset is a frame of mind or a mental inclination. It is a set of assumptions, thoughts, attitudes, and beliefs that are held by an individual or a group of people. A person's mindset informs how they respond to or interpret circumstances or situations in their lives. It impacts both how they see themselves and also how they see the world around them. We will highlight two basic mindsets. The first one is the fixed mindset. A fixed mindset is one that believes that we all are born with a measure of ability, intelligence, traits and talents, and that these inborn qualities cannot be changed in any meaningful way. For the person with a fixed mindset, life is a test and the goal is to pass the test without looking foolish or less intelligent. This belief that these qualities are already ingrained in them makes them feel compelled to prove themselves over and over again in their career, relationships, or in life in general. Since they are afraid of exposing their deficiencies, they see criticism, negative feedback, and setbacks as indications of their flaws. These people view imperfections and failures as shameful, and so they tend to give up easily. Their primary goal is to avoid mistakes. To achieve this, they shy away from new experiences, challenges, and stick to the things they know they can do very well. They will mostly stick to their job descriptions, stay on the safe side, opting for easier tasks, those that will affirm their existing ability. In their mind, every situation is evaluated. Will I succeed or fail? Will I look smart or dumb? Will I be accepted or rejected? How will they judge me? Striving for success while avoiding failure then becomes a way of maintaining their sense of being smart or skilled. As a result, they may plateau early and achieve less than their full potential. The second mindset that we're going to be looking at is the growth mindset. A growth mindset is one that believes that talents, intelligence, and abilities can be developed through effort and persistence. The people with a growth mindset believe that they have the capacity to improve on themselves. They thrive or embrace challenges and view failure not as evidence of lack of intelligence, but as a springboard for growth. They show greater resilience and are more likely to persevere in the face of setbacks. The people with this type of mindset draw lessons from criticism, find inspiration from the success of others, and as a result are more likely to reach even higher levels of achievement. A growth mindset creates a passion for learning rather than a hunger for approval, a desire to discover new things, and are very happy with any information that could help expand their existing knowledge like you're doing right now. Out of these two mindsets, which manifest from a very early age, springs a big part of our behavior, our relationship with success and failure, both in our personal and professional lives, and ultimately, our capacity to reach our full potential. Dweck suggested that people are capable of changing their mindset. Clearly, individuals are not static. 
they move back and forth from having a fixed mindset to a growth mindset and sometimes a mixed mindset depending with the situation. It is possible to have a mixed mindset though one type is usually predominant in some areas of one's life than the other. People tend to lean towards one mindset more than the other. A key step in changing the mindset is self-awareness. Our previous video has delved into self-awareness and would be very helpful in making this change. Learning about the growth mindset like we just did gives one a choice to begin challenging their beliefs and mental inclination on specific areas of their lives. As you begin working on changing your mindset, be deliberate about it. Be committed to the journey more than being focused on the outcome. I will end with a quote from Abraham Maslow, who is well known for his motivational theory on hierarchy of needs. In any given moment, we have two options. To step forward into growth or to step back into safety. Which one will you choose?